If you're a blogger, a YouTuber, or any kind of content creator, one of the toughest things to stay on top of is creating social media content. And that's where Marky steps in and really makes it much easier for you to create lots of social media content and post in the background automatically and just do a lot of things for you that if you had to do it from scratch, you'd just tear your hair out. It just takes way too much time to do it the old fashioned way. So let's go ahead and take a look at Marky. It's back on AppSumo. It was one of the most popular products this year on AppSumo. I got it about six months ago and I've been using it mainly for my X feed and also on Pinterest. Marky says, hey, I'm gonna create 30 days of content for you in five minutes. That's a pretty bold statement. I would say it takes a little longer than five minutes but it doesn't really take a lot of time once you understand the tool and get it set up correctly. Let's just dive right in here and get into the interface. When you first sign up for Marky, I believe it asks you some questions to get to know you better and understand your business better and what you're doing with social media. And so I remember when I signed up, a lot of those questions, I didn't know exactly how to answer and I wanted to tweak later on anyway. So let me just take you through all the things that you should have set up before you start creating your social media posts. In this case, I'm going to take you through the different areas of the interface, but I'm gonna start with the last one first because it's really important to get this set up correctly so the posts that Marky generates are the ones that you want to use when you post to Pinterest and Facebook, et cetera. So the very first thing, let's go into this business section and you wanna put in, you know, what is your business name? If you have a business email, a business phone, a business website, you wanna add all of those different things. Now, I really wanted to use Marky to promote my YouTube channel so for my business website, I put in my channel address and on X, uh, my social handle is uh, at hack your content. So that's what I put in there. So from a marketing strategy point, it's going to ask you some questions. It wants to understand, you know, what is your voice? You know, um, in this case, my tone of voice for my brand is informative, engaging, supportive, and transparent. Uh, I put in some core values. Uh, I talked about my niche, my audience, my audience objectives, and my audience pain points. All of these things are important to have in here because it's going to direct the AI when it's creating your social media posts. So you definitely want to take some time and set this up correctly. If you want to, you can add some call to actions. I put in one. Typically, it's subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter. And that was my call to action. Um, I'm not big on using hashtags on Twitter anymore, so uh, I don't have hashtags there. Elon Musk made a statement the other day that he hates hashtags. And so if he hates them, I doubt they're going to do a great job at promoting tweets with hashtags. So additional settings, I think... You want to talk about the caption length in your sentences. I put two to five emoji usage in the social media output that Marky creates. I just put mid, self-promote, I put mid. You can go low, mid, high. It just depends on how much you really want your social media posts to be promoting your brand or your business or your YouTube channel or blog, et cetera, right? So writing samples. Now, I put writing samples in here because I have some videos that I converted over into transcripts. This is just a sample of the way that I speak when I'm talking about different things when I'm doing YouTube videos. So I put that in there. I guess there's ways to transfer the ownership and do some other things. That's not something you need to worry about. But you do want to get this profile set up as completely as you can because it does make a difference in the output of the tool. From a branding standpoint, if you have specific brand colors, you can set those up. I just put my headshot in here, picked a font, picked a body font, pretty simple stuff. This is important, your socials. You can pick 
a publishing schedule. Uh, you know, I want to post every day. I want to post at 7 a.m. I want to vary my postings by 30 minutes. Whatever works for you, you can put those in. You just click edit schedule. It allows you to do that. You can connect your socials here. This is obviously the most important part of the tool, right? It can generate all kinds of social media posts, but they got to go somewhere. So I've got my X account or Twitter set up. I've got one for Pinterest. I don't have a Facebook page yet. When I set one of those up, I'll set up a Facebook page. But again, these are the socials that you can connect to right now. They're the major ones I know I highly recommend that after you sign up for Marky and you've started to use it, and if you use other social media accounts that aren't here, just go over to this request features piece here and go in and request a new feature. And when you go in there, you can not only request features, but you can see the roadmap and the different releases that Marky has done. So that gives you an idea of what the tool is going to be doing in the future and what it's done in the past. And maybe there's some special feature there that you're not aware of. So that's good to know about. If you do have a team, you can add other users if you want to. You just go here, click on team, add the names, the email addresses, etc. So you can do that there. It does have a help section. Now the next piece that we're going to look at, this is important too, is the library. So I don't have any specific images in my library, but let's say my local mountain bike shop up the street. So they would probably put in images like I shot a bunch of photos for them at a mountain bike race. Those are the kinds of photos that you'd want in there. So whatever it is you're promoting in your business, you know, maybe you have a, a, a local gift shop or whatever it is, that's where you could put your own images in here instead of letting Marky pick from its uh, catalog of images. Now, because I'm promoting my YouTube channel, I probably could put some images in there if I wanted to, but I tend to let Marky use its own images, but that's what you would do there. Now for themes. So this is where you would go in and you would pick themes that Marky will use when it creates the posts. So if you like, you know, memes, it'll create memes. It has just simple images, just tweet style that are text only. Uh, so I'm just going to pick a bunch of these because we're going to produce some of these posts. I want you to get a sample of what it looks like. So I'll pick memes. Let's do a tweet style. Let's do simple image. Let's try minimalist. But the point is you can just go through here and just pick a variety of these. I'll pick out modern. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll save this. You can go back in and change this anytime you want. So if Marky starts to produce some posts, you don't like the look of them, maybe you just don't like the look of the theme itself, no big deal. Just go in and uncheck the ones that you don't want. But here's what I've got set up right now. Once you've got your different themes picked, you're good. Now we go to topics. So what is topics? So topics are the things that are going to help Marky understand what kind of content you want to have it create. So typically I will do something like this. Maybe for a month I'll be talking about one particular thing that I'm interested in sharing with the people that follow me. I don't have a huge X following. Feel free to go in the description and follow me if you are on Twitter. But here we go. Um, this is what I typically do to get the content that I need to help train Marky. So I go to perplexity and I said this, what are the top 10 most important things new bloggers need to be aware of in 2025? Create a numbered list with a clear, concise paragraph to describe each one. So then what I'll do is I'll go back into Marky. I will edit the first one here. I'll grab interactive content, copy it, go back to Marky, copy that in. I'll delete that and then I'll copy this, drop it in and I'll save it. So now the first one is interactive content. So you can put in up to 10 here, if I'm not mistaken. So I'll put in a new topic. So once I finished putting in these topics from perplexity, we'll go in, we'll create some posts, and you can see why this step is really important when you're using the tool. All right, I've completed putting in five different 
topics. And so again, I got these from Perplexity because I wanted to talk about blogging in 2025 for the first month in January with my posts that I'm going to have Marky create. Now, you could be talking about your business and you don't need to use Perplexity. Maybe you already have data that you can put in and direct your social media posts. But that's what I would do if you have no ideas. Think about what your niche is. And then think about some content that you'd want to bring forward to people and maybe use perplexity like I showed you there. It's just a nice little hack to make it easier if you're stuck and you don't exactly know what to put in here. So now we get to the fun part. We're going into posts. So this is where we generate the posts. And you just click generate posts. All right, so it's generated some posts. We'll scroll through these and take a look at them. So here's the first one. It's more of a meme style. It's just to get people intrigued, you know, and then there's a show more piece here. Now, if you don't want to use these, you can definitely edit these if you want to. That's very easy to do. So if you click on this, you can just edit this post and it pops up. And if you don't want to use hashtags, like I mentioned, Elon Musk says he's not big on hashtags. So Let's make Elon happy and let's just delete them. You can also ask the AI to refine this if you want to. You can shorten this, lengthen it, more formal, more casual, whatever you want to do. It allows you to do that. And you can either save it to a draft or you can just go ahead and schedule it. So I'm going to go ahead. I'll just say schedule. And then you'll notice right up here it's been scheduled. Shows you that's going to go out go out tomorrow. Here's another one. This is about mailing lists. Here's the little self-promotion piece it added. Follow me on Twitter. So let's say that you offered a course or maybe you offered a tip sheet. You know, you're trying to drive people back to your blog. You could create that tip sheet and you could use something like this and then edit this, put a link in there to wherever that PDF file is that people could download to learn more about monetization, etc. Here's one where they added my profile pic in here just to build a little brand awareness and then puts in my YouTube channel here. I could edit this. I could add my actual hyperlink to my YouTube channel if I want to. So what it does is it just goes through. It tries to take those items that you put in in the topics and create the most intriguing, the most interesting kinds of posts that it can based on that data. And here's some more. And then these are all based on the themes that I selected. And you can generate more posts if you want to. And I'll do that so we can take a look and just get a little bit better cross-section of what Marky's creating. You don't have to use any of the posts. You can edit them if you want to. If you don't want to use the posts, you can delete them. Here's some more. It's loading some more posts. Here's one, uses a meme. I find the memes to be pretty interesting. I use a lot of memes, but I did pick other themes because I wanted you to see, you know, what they look like. I'll just scroll down through here. Here's another theme that it used. And so the other thing that you can do if you want to is you can create a custom post. You can do a blank design. If you want to, you can upload. If you click upload, you can put in some text, that kind of thing. You can drag images in here and then you can do custom generate with specific color palettes, specific call to actions, specific topics, etc. So that's available if you just want to do something from scratch and you don't want to use any of the pre-built themes that Marky offers. So what does it look like in a feed? So here's what it looks like. So here's one that I did. You know, it, it adds this sentence. Another thing I've realized about people who create content, they thrive with diverse formats like YouTube. And then that's the post. Here's another one. Here's another one. So it does a nice job. Now you can see some engagement here. I don't have a lot of followers. But, you know, 34 people saw this. One person loved it. What's the engagement like here? 24 people saw this now. I just think Marky is a great way to... Create these posts that you can push out to all the various social media channels that you're signed up for and that you use. And it just makes it super easy. And it's sort of fun to get this all set up. It's very easy to do. 
So let's talk a little bit about the pricing for Marky at the different tiers on AppSumo because this is an AppSumo lifetime deal. So here's the pricing. So it licensed tier one. That's a one-time purchase of $79. So it allows you to set up three different brands. So if you have a blog and a YouTube channel or multiple businesses, whatever, a brand could be any one of those things. So you could set up three and manage three. It allows you to post one time per day. So that's the one thing to be aware of. You only get to post one time per day. I am not a social media expert, but I know a lot of people that use social media heavily do like to post multiple times per day. So that's one thing to bear in mind. And you can generate up to 300 posts per month. Now, if you get into license tier two, basically it just gives you more of everything, right? So for $169, you can set up up to six brands. You get to do multiple postings a day. So if you really want to delve into social media deeply, I would probably start at license tier two. You don't have to. License tier one is better than nothing if you're not using social media. If you have a blog, if you have a YouTube channel, if you have a business, you should be using social media. So even license tier one is fine. License tier two, though, does give you a chance to interact with more people more frequently. And instead of just 300 posts per month, you can do 3,000 posts per month. Now, license tier three would be if you've got multiple businesses that you're working with. So I sort of think of license tier three more maybe like an agency that's helping a bunch of businesses do social media. And here we're talking multiple time postings per day, unlimited posts per month. You have an agency dashboard. This would be more at the agency level, at the solopreneur level, uh, people like me, people like you that have a blog or we're, we're doing content creation on YouTube or maybe we have a small business, license tier one or tier two should work out fine. So that's Marky. It's on AppSumo. It's a lifetime deal right now. I don't know how long it's going to be on, so I don't want you to miss out on it. And I hope that you found this helpful. And I give Marky two thumbs up. Until next time. Take care.